Hi, I'm Brian Zhang from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Payroll tutorial video, I'll talk about EPF 7% and 11% setting for April 2020 until December year 2020. Now, this is a compulsory to watch video for all SQL Payroll users before you process for April 2020 payroll because if you do not watch this video, you may make a serious mistake when you process the payroll for April. The first thing you need to take note is under the government economic stimulus package, the minimum statutory contributions for EPF for employees will be reduced from 11% to 7%. This will affect starting 1st of April year 2020 until December. However, employee may choose to maintain the current contribution rate of 11% by submitting a form called KWSP 17A HAS 2020. Now, if you do not have any idea of what I'm talking about regarding this part, please go to my Facebook page and understand this first. Now, please submit the form before April or before you process your April payroll. Now, another thing to take note is it is compulsory for you to upgrade to SQL Payroll versions 158. It's the latest versions which will have this setting. So let's log into SQL Payroll. Again, this is SQL Payroll version 158. So log in. I'll give a scenario of the whole idea of this setting. First thing is the maintain employee will concentrate on the employee called Brian Chong. The payroll is 10,000 for his wages. And for Alice, the same things, her wages is 10,000 ringgit. By default, under the payroll maintenance, maintain contributions, there is a default table. And this default table, the employee EPF rate is set at A, that means automatic 11%. So let's see what happened when we process payroll. So go to new payroll and we want to process for March. Click on pro. And let's check Brian Chong. The EPF is 1,100 at 11%. How about Alice? Go to Alice. It's still the same. 11% is 1,100. Now, what happened when we process for April. New payroll, let's process for April. Process. Then check on Brian Chung. And we we'll see that Brian Chung EPF is 700 ringgit, which is 7%. Same goes to Alice. Now, some of you may confuse under payroll maintenance, maintain contribution, the default still automatic 11%. Why it changed to 7%? It's because by law say so. The law say it reduced from 11% to 7% means the default will change to 7%. So the problems only happen when you have staff to choose 11% and some of other staff who choose 7%. So what you need to do is you need to go to payroll, maintenance, maintain contributions, and create a new contribution table. Click on new. So here we let's say I put seven eleven percent EPF. Okay, example. The code you can create by your own, so got no serious impact. Just that over here, you just Make sure it's stated employee EPF rate is 11%. Click 
to a save this now what you need to do is go back to the maintain employee and choose whoever want to maintain at 11% so let's go to Alice so payroll contributions click on edit and select 11% save okay close this now for demo person I need to delete the April payroll okay then let's process payroll for April new payroll April process so let's check again range on is 7% so you get 700 for the EPF for Alice she will maintain at 11% and the amount is 1100 so now you understand how you need to do the setting and assign the setting to those employees who wish to maintain at 11% before you process the April 2020 payroll under SKL payroll system now just in case if you want to know more about EPF SKL accounting payroll system LHDN PCB Pekeso Sokso or SSD or any other important information regarding your business please follow and like my Facebook okay some of you may ask after i like your facebook but why my uh, brian post will not appear in your own uh, facebook page it's because after you like the page you need to follow the page and remember to click on see first then only it will appear what if you do not have maintenance then you are not able to get the latest versions update so that's why you need a maintenance for your SQL payroll system or even your SQL accounting system. Now, what if you do not have any payroll system at all? Then I highly suggest you purchase the SQL payroll system or SQL accounting system from me. So once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian Chong from Syntex Technologies. Thank you.